incessant move one way move nearly you we have hardly had a fall so to say what does that indicate and what do the charts indicate at the current levels yes neeraj since october we have actually behaved like a pendulum if you really look at the uh, price action since october i think you've had rallies of 3 4000 points and you also had dips of about 3 4000 points in fact it's a very unique bear market that played out in the last 9 months i mean something which i haven't seen in the last two decades because within the bear market you had these large sharp rallies which gave one the hope that all is well once again but every time you know the market's rally it came back down this time as the rally played out there was this uneasy feeling that maybe the market will do something similar it will find resistance at some point and it will turn around because any which way there were just too many headwinds from a fundamental side you know we spoke about it recession inflation interest rates geopolitical risk oil currency all of those factors were there but then as we analyzed this recovery we just noticed that the leadership was different the momentum was different the participation was better the corrections were very very shallow and the fact that from a technical standpoint the market kept respecting supports and the moving averages that's probably the reason we were working with a medium term target of 17750 which has been done and probably we are crossing that number today hopefully on a closing basis so i think the texture has looked very different the market has more upside it it would be too early for me to say that a new bull market has started but i think on an index level there is room till about 18400 Yes, people are concerned that we've run up a lot, and there is room for some correction. But when you get such wonderful global cues from U.S. markets and European markets, India cannot, you know, get into a corrective uh, uh, phase on a standalone basis. So I think, based on breadth studies, yes, we are overbought. The number of stocks trading above the 50-day moving average is historically high. These are numbers that we've not seen for many, many years, and therefore there is room for some pullback. some time over the next couple of weeks but i think as investors and as positional traders you stay in the game and you tag along and you don't fight this trend so i think 17400 and 17100 according to me are now solid support for the rest of uh, august and if everything goes as per plan 18400 and beyond is definitely coming okay i have three follow ups to your first question let me first take the very immediate one uh you mention a le- a closing level above a particular le- point for the nifty whether it happens today or tomorrow as the case may be but if it does happen does that therefore is that indicative of the up move continuing and becoming quicker see i would honestly like the market to consolidate a little here you know a vertical move is never healthy beyond a point and it's just been uh, too too rosy you know with what's happened in the last few weeks but uh, markets being markets and given the kind of strength that we're getting from global indices look at nasdaq look at s&p 500 last friday the fact that oil has cooled off you know so much rupee seems to be stabilizing below 80 all of these factors suggest that it's very difficult to break the current momentum so a smallish 300 500 kind of a pullback it would actually please me but it's not something which i'm wanting because i think you are anyway you know money is on the uh, mm. you know, in the game and wanting this market to see much upside so any which way you know you need to stay invested as a as a investor or a positional trader yeah but but the close above a particular level is that indicative of something uh, quicker I'm just trying to understand technically yes, indeed in fact 17750 is an area where multiple technical studies come together i think as we speak we are trading above that number and if we do close above that number in the next couple of trading sessions it would suggest that the market is opening up further upside so viewers for now the working targets for august are about 18400 if all goes well with supports at 17400 and 17100 uh, but the larger trend remains uh, higher uh, gotham just one more follow up before i get to other questions if indeed all goes as per plan uh, you know typically i have seen uh, somehow you know the markets are weak and call it coincidence or whatever but during ganesh chaturthi or otherwise and then in the run up to the festive season we've had number of times where in the markets do really well the sentiment picks up everything happens are there higher working targets um, uh, for for the run up to the festive season or are we getting ahead of ourselves uh, neeraj we are already up to and a half thousand points you know in a very difficult market environment and i don't think i want to really look too much into the future because right. i think there is room for some correction i just want to be a little practical here 
Uh, so I wouldn't have very large targets, but I just want to make a very important point that it's not about being top down anymore. It's about being bottom up because I think there are some wonderful opportunities outside of the index and the real bull market is actually playing in some of the sectors in the mid caps and in the small caps. So nifty and the top 50 might not give you stellar returns, but outside of that, we are definitely in a bull market.